Now, if someone is really aggressive from that position, they'll figure it out, okay? Like, if someone is aggressively coming after you, they get mounted on you and they put their hands on their neck, they will not need Coach Michael's instruction to figure that out, okay? Because they will want to strangle you. They will put their weight into you. They won't have to be reminded. You're like all doing it like nice and you're still choking the person. Do you understand? Like they will come at you hot, all right? And it will be very easy for them to figure that out. So understanding how to get out of this is just critical self-defense stuff. So have you learned this? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So you get on top of me. He connects to my neck. Mm. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna grab as close to his hand as I can with the wrists, okay? I'm gonna pull, my, my chest is gonna go forward, my shoulders are gonna go back, and my elbows are gonna come down to the mat. And you keep that tension on like you were gonna choke me. And try to get those hands back to my neck. It's incredibly difficult, right? So all I'm doing is I get low to the hands, thumbless grip, nice and deep. I'm pulling and I'm doing a scalpular retraction. My chest comes forward as my shoulders go back, okay? If I try to do that with just my arms, just trying to do this, go to choke me, he'll still choke me. I'm not strong enough to stop that, okay? I might be strong enough to stop a little kid or something, but from here, he can't choke me anymore, okay? I'm keeping, and I mean, he's almost like an inch off my neck. You feel it, mm -hmm. I, suddenly I feel incredibly strong. It's the scalpular, thank you. It's the scalpular retraction, I'm just touching, my shoulder blades together. My chest is forward, my, ch my shoulders are back. Get those elbows down. A lot of people still leave their elbows out like this. This is no good. I want them down here, okay? Nice and tight to my body. One, two, three. 